this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Oracle of Seasons! Let's continue through the Poison Moth Slayer. wonder why they call it the Poison Moth Slayer. You know? I mean, it clearly has nothing to do with poison. Oh no! Not all the statues are symmetrical! We gotta fix this. Yeah, this one's pretty easy. Just gotta, uh, well, get them all lined up on the bottom the same way they have them on the top. wonder what I'll get out of this. Another key? Now that opened the door there. Close enough. Good job. Hmm, how can I get down there? Yeah, that's a lot of torches around here. It's a fire hazard. Well, heck, my room's a fire hazard. I've got three computers running at the same time in there. That's why I've got a backup power supply and everything going there. I'm surprised I haven't lit my house on fire yet. Hmm, how can I get up there? Hmm. Uh-oh, we got more of those guys. Let's get our boomerang out. Ha! There we go. Easy enough. Hmm, I can't get up there either. Well, we'll keep an eye out. Whoa! For more enemies, I guess. Whoa, these guys again. Whoa, that, like, really hit him back. Well, there we go. Let's see, let's head, a, let's head down here first. Alright, landed right where I wanted to. Ha! Well, let's grab that. We could go back up there, but, uh, hmm. well, that's where we were before. Well, let's head on back up here now. Hmm, and I can't get over to that thing either. Well, let's see what's up here. Whoa! What the hell is that? Nuts. Right, guys. At least these guys are easier than they were in Link's Awakening, where I think you can only defeat them with the Whirling Blade technique. Or with the Pegasus Boots. Or with our new Rats Feather! No, no, but that's the uh, special item for the area. The Rock's Feather. Level 1 Rock's Feather, too. Hmm. wonder what a level 2 Rock's Feather could do. Maybe let us jump higher? Let's go over here and find out. Well, we're not going to find out today, but soon enough, viewers, soon enough. But, yeah, all those puzzles, yeah, they kind of made it obvious. Kind of uh, weird th th having the Rock's Feather this late in the... Uh, dungeon sequence, you know? Usually they give it to you in the first or the second dungeon at the latest, but... Huh. Well, there you go. It's one of the basic items, really, so... We're gonna need to hold on to the rock's feather for a while here. What can we do, Mr. Owl? Huh. Well, let's go jump on this trampoline! Hey, hey! Alright! What do we get over here? The... <coughs> the compass! Oh, there we go. Well, let's head on back down, then. Whee! Hmm, and there's another place over there. Well, what you can do, you can push the trampoline around. Yeah, I'm sure it's that easy to move trampolines around in the real world. Fortunately, Link will never get injured on the trampoline. Man, this place is a lawsuit factory. Whoa, this place is a lawsuit factory. They got spikes and everything on the floors. Or, they got spikes everywhere around here. I think I need the power bracelet equipped in order to actually push those things around. There we go. Just don't get pushed onto the spikes and you'll be fine. You can't jump over them, though. Hmm, there's a key over there. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Let's push this thing around, then. More trampolines! You sure do like the trampolines, don't you, Link? But I like the little gimmick that they put in this dungeon with the trampolines and everything like that. It's a nice touch. Another way of uh, putting the rocks feather to use and having new puzzles and everything like that. Oh, uh, whoa! Get out of my way. Nuts. Oh, we get a key. Nice. How are we doing on the dungeon? All right. Yeah, I don't think we need the uh, that heart thing anymore. Let's get the blue ring then. There we go. No! I wanted the money! Well, at least I made it over to the platform instead of the bat knocking me into the pits! Uh, I was just having traumatic flashbacks, viewers. Whoa! Why even have those guys there? Huh. Oh, we're back over here! How are we doing on this floor? So far, so good. Oh, I was like, where's that treasure? There's a treasure chest, but... No, I know how to get it. So now we just... I like how they have the dungeon circle in on itself, like, as you... Whoa! Talk to the hand! 
as you get through the dungeon, you know, it kind of loops around on itself. So I kind of like that. You know, they really squeeze a lot into all these rooms. A lot of different things you can do and everything like that. So, same thing as before. Just push the pot over there. And yeah, I realize the switch hook, switch hook would not really work too well there because, well, it would cause the pot to shatter. Whoa! Uh, I want the boomerang. There we go. Alright, let's, uh, rock feather again. I don't need to kill these losers. But I want to. Ha! Let's see, how do we get past this? Ha! Yeah, you just jump right over it. Yeah, that's a nice little trick there, too. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, we made it, we made it. Mr. Owl, what do we do now? Hmm, what do you mean by that? Well, I'm sure that's not important. I wonder why they call this place the Poison Moth Slayer. I was saying about that earlier. I mean, there's no poison, and I don't see any birds other than the owls or anything like that. Hmm. Let's see, where else have I not been? Oh, just to the left there. Okay, easy enough. Oh, by the way, I think... Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I am going to need the power bracelet for this part. For boss time! Whoa. There we go. Yeah, what well, you gotta do with this boss, when it gets out of the water there, you just gotta pick it up with the power bracelet, throw him onto dry land, and suffocate him. Yeah, yeah, that's very nice. And basically what I like to do is throw them into a corner, so that way they have a hard time getting out. Ha! There we go. Easy enough. Alright. Well, where do I go now? Oh, there we go. There's some there's a secret passage! I'll get you next time, P-Hats. Now, let's see. We could head up there, but let's not do that just yet. Let's head over here first. There's a particular item that we need here first. Ha! Yeah, those little... Whatever those things are. Diving boards? Whatever. They let you jump over to the other side. So. Whoa! That's pretty big. Yeah, I bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? But there's no trampolines in this room. I want more trampolines. Hmm, how do we get back up there? Then? Well, if I'm not mistaken, we're pretty close to the entrance. So if we just do this... Ha! There we go. Yeah, I like how they use the, uh, the warp gate there. You know, not just a way of conveniently allowing you to save your game if you're like halfway through the dungeon and you're just playing a quick five or ten minute game or something like that. But you know, it's also you actually useful for getting through the dungeon and everything like that. So I like that. It's a nice touch. Now let's clear out all these pee hats so they're not my game? Where'd you go? Ha! Hey, I, I wanna have full hearts. Stop! There we go. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna have full hearts. For boss time! Alright, well, oh, there's the moth. Okay, now basically, he's just gonna run around in circles like, or well, fly around in circles. And eventually, he will get in the middle there. Don't let him knock you into the pits. Oh, well, that was enormously easier than I thought it would be. Well, let's grab the heart container first. If you uh, fall down the pit, all you gotta do is uh, jump all the way up here, and uh, you'd have to start the boss fight all over again. But, you know, I, well, I already got it, so there we go. And what do we get? The witch essence of nature? The bright sun. Double sun power! Well, it's not quite as good as that, but, well, you take what you can get. So what does the Maku Tree remember this time? Let's find out! Oh, hey, there he is, stalking me again. Well, three dungeons down? F um, yeah, five to go. I almost said four there. Oh, there you go. So we got the power of the sun, but the darkness gets stronger. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Huh, 
Yeah, we kind of heard about the Sunken City. I like how they did that, you know? They kind of foreshadow the Sunken City a bit, and, well, now we're going to actually go there. But we are. So, uh, I don't like where that is. Let's put that over there. We're not going to be using that much anyway. Uh, let's see. We're going to be using that quite a lot, so let's rearrange that. And let's make it, uh, winter, so that way we can freeze all the enemies in the water. And let's call Dimitri. I think I've already used Dimitri's flute more than I ever did in all of Oracle of Ages. I don't know why, it's just the pets, I mean any pet really, didn't really seem as useful in Oracle of Ages as they were, as they will be, in Oracle of Seasons here. Hmm. Well, there we go. We could jump all the way down there if I really wanted to, but I don't. Well, but anyway, since we got the rocks feather, let's go back to Sabrosia and put that to use. Yes, I know I can throw you! Okay, someone was saying there's a way to get around that. Let's find out if they were telling the truth, or if, well, they were... How did you get over there? Nuts. Let's see if they were... Game? Game? There we go. Okay, pick up and throw him. Leave. Come back. Hey, hey, alright, he doesn't give me that stupid message anymore. Not that I'm going to be coming back here that much, but... Hey! Got him. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't need you, Dimitri. Get lost. Whoa, okay, I need you again. Kill the guy, kill the guy. Thanks. Such a good da Dodongo. Who's a good Dodongo? Who's a good Dodongo? Ooh, we got a Gasha tree there. Come on, heart piece. Uh, we got a ring. Oh, well. And I'm not going to bother replanting it. Uh, like I said, uh, Gasha seeds are on very short supply in, uh, well, in this, in this game. As opposed to Oracle of Ages, so. Okay, well anyway, we got the, uh, the Rocks Feathers. And now there's more places in Tabrosia that we can explore, so let's go check it out. See what's going on around here. But anyway, when we go to the market, we can buy this numbers card here. Huh. Whoa, whoa, boy. Yeah, it's like boy and wow put together. No, nah, no. Nah. But anyway, we got the members card. Remember there was a shop earlier in the game that needed a members card? Let's see what else they got here. What the heck is this? Oh, uh, no, I got a shovel. But anyway, some people were saying about that ring there. It's just a random ring, by the way, I think, or something like that. It's not something that, you know, it'll get replaced by another random ring. So I'm not going to worry about buying that. Well, let's go on another date with Rosa. Why not? I'm trying to think of a Final Fantasy IV reference that I could make, but it's not coming to me. Well, she likes the ribbon, so... Sure! Why not? Wow. <laughs> I just can't get over the, the date music here. Well, let's get our uh, rocks feather here. <laughs> she can jump with me, too. All right. Whee! <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, yeah, we want to head west with Rosa now. Because there's another door over there that, well, I want her to open up for me. I'm just using her, really. She means nothing to me. It, it, that's what I would tell Zelda, anyway. Uh, let's see. We could go up there. Well, eventually I do, but let's stay up here for now. There is another cave over there, but, uh, yeah, I'll save it for next time. Why not? Huh. Well, it still looks like it's boiling hot to me. K if it k kills you, I think it's still good. But anyway, yeah, I need Rosa to open this door for me. Haha! -ha! What do we get for our efforts? We get another Gusher Seed. All right. Can never have enough of those. We want to save those for later. Gosh, I hope I can get that heart piece. Huh, really? Well, let's head on over here. What is this place called? The Chef's Kitchen. Huh. Hell's Kitchen? Not that far off. There's lava everywhere around here. They got lava in Hell, right? In mythology. Or wh wherever they talk about Hell. Seriously. Ah, whatever. But anyway, we got that iron pot. So let's get that to him. And uh, get some of that uh, soup, I guess. Hey, hey, alright. We got lava soup. Who will we give it to? Tune in next time when we probably won't find out. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. Would you like some of my soup, Rosa? Maybe some of my secret sauce?